wanted because you have been part of and you've encouraged us throughout um, particularly my journey to find Ellie. And when we found her, many of you embraced her and her sister when they came to New Zealand um, last year. Many of you here tonight are part of that wider story that I actually don't know a lot about. You have your own stories to tell. And we really, really admire you for that as a family. But tonight is about honouring my parents. My parents in law. I came to know them like parents. I was like, I know that I was like a daughter to my mother in law. And I'm so very glad we had a close friendship because she was able to tell me about Ellie. Mm -hmm. um, I know Patricia's already said it, but I just want to pay particular thanks to Vera because Vera really encouraged me um, in my journey even though nothing came of it at that particular time. But it's wonderful tonight to have Caleb, my grandson here. You can stand up, Caleb. <laughs> because Caleb was the one, when I had finished my search and nothing had happened, Caleb said to me, Nana, I want you to try one more time to find Ellie. And I did. And that's another story. It was 
But there was another one that really spoke to me, particularly as a nana. Where's Michaela? Michaela, will you come up here for a minute? This is my little granddaughter, Michaela. I thought about Michaela, and I also thought about Ellie. And it's a quote that was up at the Resistance Museum, and it was, it was a waitress that was looking out of her shop during the Razia. That's a roundup of the Jews. One day, they rounded up Jews in a square in Amsterdam. I can still see a little girl pulling a wooden horse on a string. The cobblestones on the road made the horse fall over. The little girl wanted to put it back on its wheels, but a German soldier began to yell at her to keep walking. She was frightened and she burst into tears and so did I. And we all know what would have happened to that little girl. She would have been also taken away in the Razia. And I looked at that quote and I thought, yes, that could have been Ellen. If Johan Fritz had not taken Ali, that could have been Ali, or it could have been my little granddaughter. So that really spoke to me. Tonight may seem, me, seem to be the end of a long journey, but for my extended family, my children, my grandchildren, I see it as a beginning. As you take up the legacy, the challenge that your grandparents and great grandparents, Johan Fritz, have given you. Make sure you continue to honour them in the decision.